Hello, NoobTubers! And today, I'll be reinventing the will in Minecraft. Let's get started. Okay, guys, I'm sure you know what remaking the will means. You're taking something that is simple or something that has been done for centuries and then redoing it. Well, in this case, in Minecraft, we don't have wills, but we do have eight item selectors that work very well in Bedrock and Pocket Edition, which uses Bedrock. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can select eight items with this. Woohoo! This is wonderful! It's a great little machine. You can use it for all sorts of things, like selecting what kind of armor you want, what tools you may want dispensed to you, what resources you may want dispensed. The possibilities are endless, and the outputs are obviously right here. But there's one flaw with this in Java Edition. Yeah. Here's the problem. See, normally, what we would have is these three would still be lit up, and this one would be as is it is. This one would be as it is now, unlit. That's how it's supposed to work. But because of how redstone works in Java, it does not work that way. So I, being a very small redstone engineer compared to people like Mumbo, had to remake it myself. I don't think anyone has done that, or maybe there's another mechanism that works just as well. All I know is that I made my own version, and if you want to make it yourself, I will show you how the machine works and how it looks so that you can copy it yourself. Let's go on to the machine. This is the much lesser six item selector, because if I was to do seven or eight, well, there's a skip that will happen. For, for whatever reason, because of Minecraft, the mechanics are off. But right here, it even tells you, turn pointer two times after passing all item frames, landing here. So as you can see, it works like the eight item selector. You have your classic item frame, you have your arrow, you have your redstone output, and then you have droppers, yep. With an ender pearl or any item that you want oh and you have your selector switch right there so that hasn't changed you have your um horizontal line no your vertical redstone line excuse me you have your hoppers to bring the item back so this machine does have a reset time although i think it's like a whole second so enough rambling i'm gonna actually show you how it works Okay, you probably heard that piston, and that was this piston going up right here. Now, I'm going to do another one. This one is now down, and this one is now up and connected to our output. We're going to click this button. As you can see, the lamp came on. I'll do it again just in case you missed it and don't know how to skip back. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, I cannot move today. Ah, this is why Club we had at college where they're inspecting our rooms for cleanliness. Yep, it works, as you can see. It works great. This is not the smallest machine by any means, but you could always, I don't know, loop some stuff over and around and put some stuff on this side if you wanted to, or build down. It's a pretty hunky machine, I will give you that. But it works, and it works like a charm. In fact, you can even just you can even just spam the arrows. It doesn't matter. You you can spam, and now you have an output there that you can easily do. So, and the light came on because it works. And whenever you click it again, see the red the uh, um ender pearls right there. So, in case you don't know how this works, these detect items inside of blocks. It gives out redstone into this block, which turns this torch off, allowing this one to come on. 
pushing this block up via piston, of course, and then this shoots redstone into here and it ultimately comes out the other side because we have a line of redstone there. And of course, you, whenever you hit your button, all of this will light up, of course, but this is the only one where the redstone can make it to the outputs. So let's click it again. Okay, you're going to do here and then here. If I'm not mistaken, yep, there it is. That was about one Mississippi, two Mississippi. That was about two Mississippis in order to get that pearl down to here. Although hopefully you're not just sitting here just... See, I think it's even idiot proof. Yep, it's idiot proof. It's, it, it's literally idiot proof. It, just, it will not jam anything if you just keep going around. As you can see, the machine's completely intact. So it was torture tested in front of you guys and it works. Oh, and remember, these are droppers. Just remember, a dispenser will not work. It will launch the item into the other block, causing it to just come out either end. Down here, this is very simple. I suggest, don't put this right here, otherwise it causes an issue with the torches for some reason. I don't know. So set it right here. This is all you need. You need this here to keep it from looping all the way around and doing absolutely nothing. So yeah, this is it. Um, there's not really much else to say other than that eight item selector does not work in Java unless I'm just wrong. In that case, feel free to point it out and leave a link to someone else's video or at least put the name of the video and the producer of it and I will check it out and come up with my own simpler design or repeat the design and put the video out myself, which I have done like with Mumbo Jumbo's TARDIS. I remade it and I will say I think it looks a lot better than his. You know, not trying to be arrogant or anything, but I think I did a much better job than he did with the TARDIS. I'm not saying I'm a better interior designer than he is, but I think I did a little bit better. Say what? Better than he is, but I think I did a little bit better. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you learned a lot. I'm not the most entertaining YouTuber, but I do provide a lot of information. So please pass this video around to people that want to know, hey, how can I select what kind of armor I want to wear in Java Edition because the Bedrock machine isn't working? Well, show them my video and they'll know how to build it. If y'all leave in the comment sections um, a few times that you want a video on how to make it, I can certainly do that for y'all. Remember, if you don't put in the comment section, I'm not going to know how you feel. Leaving a dislike is just hurtful. It does nothing. I'm just like, well, people hated my video of very vital information. And this information is important. In fact, I even hunted around on YouTube and I couldn't find anyone making this machine that worked in Java Edition. I tried making that machine so many times. I double, triple, quadruple checked myself to make sure I got nothing wrong and it doesn't work. So if I'm in error, then please show me. Otherwise, this works. Thank you so much for your time. Have a very blessed rest of your day.